1300 to the end of the 15th century, the end of the Middle Ages. In this video, we will continue to be discussing the westward movement of the flute from the Holy Roman Empire to the rest of Europe. It first starts to spread to France and Spain. People in France of that time knew the instrument as Germanic. In the early 1300s, the minnesinger Johannes Hodlob produces Der Kanzler, a collection of 54 songs in Switzerland. Along with the songs are images. In the Manny's manuscript that was compiled containing his songs, we can see how the flutist holds their flute to the right, which is unique in the 14th century. Depictions elsewhere all show the flute held to the left. This could have been a choice of the artist so the instrument's mirror or draws your attention to the center of the image. This makes understanding their flutes a little more difficult because, as I've already stated, we don't have instruments from this time. There is music in the manuscript, but no clear instructions on how to play it. The music is monophonic, meaning one part or one voice but it is possible that the instruments played with the vocal line, played drones, a single held pitch while the vocal line is sung, or they perhaps even improvise something else with the vocal melody. After 1339 or so, we also start to see the flute, or fife really, being depicted in a military setting in France and Germany. It is usually being played outdoors by soldiers with large bells, drums, bagpipes, or trumpets. Back then, they compared the flute to the sound of the trumpet and trombone. Fifers were also popping up as early as 1374 in the city of Basel, Switzerland, which would later lead to an entire change in the culture of war. Around 1364, the poet and composer Guillaume Machaut produces lists of instruments. He distinguishes between the transverse flutes you blow across and recorders. His pupil, Eustace Duchamp, later goes on to describe indoor and outdoor flutes, suggesting by the end of the 14th century, France had both louder outdoor flutes and softer indoor flutes. By the early 1400s, we also start to see the flute being associated with royalty in France, and also starts appearing in several French manuscripts. At that time, there were minstrels playing for instruments in ceremonies and dance settings for the French upper class and the courts. Meanwhile, the very first evidence of fifes in Italy starts to appear in the mid-15th century. They were listed with some of the Medici family possessions. This is actually some of the only evidence in all of Europe in the mid-15th century that a transverse flute is mentioned. But before the end of the century, the Swiss developed their flute battling tactics. In 1476, during the battles of Grandson and Marat, the Swiss troops marched to a fife and drum in the center of each formation stepping in perfect Swiss time. In the years that followed, France, Germany, Spain, and Italy adopted the Swiss musical military techniques. By the end of the 15th century, the military flute had spread all over Europe, even as far north as Sweden. In the next video, we will be discussing more about the Swiss fifers and some of the early treatises on musical instruments.